What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be comparing a 35 millimeter SLR and a Kodak disposable camera. We're going to be seeing how they compare with one another. Right now I am in Kensington Market in downtown Toronto. We are currently at golden hour so I got some really nice uh, sunset light coming in. My name is Ian McGilvery. I'm a Toronto based photographer and uh, yeah we're going to be doing some street photography comparing these two bad boys. Super easy to take this. Honestly, if anyone wants to get into film, I recommend just getting one of these guys and just trying it for yourself, just to kind of get a feel for what it's like to shoot with film. And then you can invest in one of these guys. Another thing to keep in mind, the focal lengths are different on these, right? I mean, I'm shooting on a 50 here. And honestly, this one, I don't know what it is. So you'll see it on the screen, wherever this is. I've never really thought about what the focal length on the disposables were. This, this uh, alleyway is like iconic. Well, I don't know if it's really iconic, but I think it is because they shot a jazz video here, Jazz Cartier, and uh, the way they used it was really cool. I'm gonna take a couple photos here. I also like these houses and I don't know why they always give me like they just give me vibes that are not from Toronto That's it. All right guys, so we're back in my place and what we're gonna do now is basically compare the disposable and the 35 millimeter SLR. So I'm basically going to kind of compare the two, kind of let you guys know what I think of each. So this first shot, um, you know, pretty, pretty simple shot. Um, what you can tell between the 35 SLR and the disposable is right away the the SLR is a lot more sharp right the disposable given because of the kind of lens you have on that camera the image you're gonna get is not gonna be as sharp you know you're gonna get a softer more center focused type of photo um, also the focal length is obviously diff uh, different I was shooting the 35 SLR on a 50 and the disposable I think is about 31 millimeter. So um, you're definitely gonna get a more of a wider image on the disposable. So we got, I took this photo of the Baldwin sign at Kensington. Again, not as sharp looking at the disposable one, um, but you know, you get an overall great image. So yeah, same with this one. A lot of these are gonna be similar uh, when you compare them. 
Um, I also like to mention the the disposables aperture is not as it's not as fast. So in lower light and even light conditions like this, and this was around like golden hour, you're uh, gonna get a darker image. So just be mindful of that. I actually like this photo. Again, uh, it's wider, not as sharp. Um, the colors. It's funny. I mean, the colors, I was using Portra 400 on the SLR and then the disposable is something like a Kodak Gold, I believe. It's set at 800 ISO, so it is working. It's going to be a little bit more grainy as well. So if you notice that the disposable is more grainy, um, even if you expose correctly, it, you will get significantly more grain. But yeah, this photo is not bad. kind of prefer the 35 on this one for sure. So right around this time, the sun was almost set. So it was hard to get exposure with the disposable considering I'm stuck at a certain aperture. And of course, like photography like this, the flash isn't gonna work. So um, it is what it is, right? So make sure you have enough light when using disposables. Um, it's kind of more set for portraits with the flash. so. You're doing like street photography just be mindful of that even on cloudy days you could definitely get a darker image in the shadows for sure uh so yeah right here this last photo you could definitely tell on the disposable is just completely underexposed there was pretty much no light you know but with the slr i could definitely push it with the lens i had and uh how fast it was i'm pretty sure i was shooting at 2.8 on the 35 slr so had no problems there exposing even when the sun was pretty much set. But yeah, overall, comparing the two, um, they're just similar cameras but different. Um, you know, they both have their, there's both times where you're gonna use one or the other. I mean, personally, I'm gonna use the SLR for most of my photography, but disposables, like I've said earlier, you know, definitely want to use, maybe try out using a disposable camera if you're starting out with film before investing in an SLR. So yeah, maybe get use a disposable when you're trying to get into it. Um, but overall, you know, both are fun cameras to use and you really got to just experiment because there are times and places for both. Um, but anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please, if you like the video and you want to see more content, go down, smash that like button. We really appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to see more content, of course, and I'll check you guys next time.